Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, doing another Star Wars Galaxies emulator video. Uh, this one's just going to be a quick did you know video regarding the slash purchase ticket command. Um, the slash purchase ticket, I, I think it was in the patch notes for Publish 6. I'm not sure if it was working before Publish 6, but I certainly had totally forgotten about it prior to Publish 6, but basically what it is is a chat command you can use when you're within range of a ticket terminal, either at a starport or a shuttle port, that actually lets you purchase tickets from any starport or shuttle port to any connecting starport or shuttle port, regardless of which one you're at. So right now I am at our... Uh, uh, shuttle port in University Campus, our Guild City on lock. Um, and let's just assume that I know I'm going to be traveling from here to Moss Eisley. And obviously, since this is a shuttle port, I can't get to Moss Eisley directly from here. If I double click on the ticket terminal and go to Tatooine and click on Moss Eisley and purchase ticket, nothing happens because this shuttle port, uh, you can't travel cross planets on a sh from a shuttle port. I would first have to purchase a ticket to Nim's Stronghold on lock, which is the only starport on lock. Of course, I just missed the shuttle, but whatever. Um, I would have to purchase a ticket here, and then once I land there, I would have to run inside, you know, use the ticket terminal there, purchase the ticket from there to Moss Eisley. But let's say I don't want to do that. Uh, granted, Nim Stronghold probably isn't the best uh, shuttle port or star port to, to use this as a demonstration because it's pretty close proximity, but if you think about how large uh, traditional star ports like Moss Eisley uh, star port is or like Coronet star port, when you land, you have to run all the way inside, go you know around the corner, use the ticket terminal, come all the way back around outside and talk to the ticket droid who's standing in the middle of the landing pad. Uh, that's a lot of time that you're using up, especially if when you land, the shuttle is already there. Usually by the time you run inside, buy your ticket and run back outside, um, that shuttle will probably have taken off and then you have to wait for it to come back. So this, this slash command is actually just a way to save some time, especially when you're waiting for a shuttle uh, like I am here now anyway. So what I'm going to do is because usually just by clicking is a little bit faster. Uh, since I can buy a ticket from University Campus to Nim Stronghold, I'm going to go ahead and just click purchase ticket. So that gives me the first ticket. Uh, right here you can see I have a ticket. Departure location University Campus, arrival location Nim Stronghold. But now I already know where I'm going. I want to purchase a ticket from Nim Stronghold to Moss Eisley on Tatooine. Well, if I type in the command slash purchase with a purchase ticket as one word, but with a capital T, uh, case it's case sensitive here, so capitalization does matter. Purchase ticket. The first thing that you need to type in, the first argument, is the planet from your departure location. So I'm going to be going from Nim's stronghold which is on lock. So the first thing I'm going to type is lock, then a space. Then it wants to know what station, whether it's a shuttle port or a star port, you're going to be using. Now this is important. You have to type these in exactly as the way that they are named in game uh, in the code. Now I'm going to put a link in the description of this video that has the list of every single NPC star port uh, in the game. I don't know if it has shuttle ports, it might have shuttle ports in it, but at least it has the star ports and those are the important ones. Uh, so for Nim's Stronghold, it's actually Nim's underscore Stronghold. That's it. Capital N, uh, you need the apostrophe in Nim's underscore capital S for Stronghold. Then a space. Then you need to type in your arrival planet. So I'm going to be going to Moss Eisley, which is on Tatooine. So I type in Tatooine, and planets are always lowercase, by the way. So lock was with a lowercase l, Tatooine's with a lowercase t, then a space. Then you need to know your arrival starport. So in this case, it's Moss underscore Isley underscore starport. All right. Now you could do just this command. That's it. Cap Moss Isley starport capital M underscore capital E underscore capital S. If I were to type this command in and press enter as is, 
it would work. However, I would get a round trip ticket. I would get a ticket both to uh, from Nim Stronghold to Moss Eisley, and a ticket uh, from Moss Eisley back to Nim Stronghold. Now, for those of you that that use round trip tickets, that's perfect. Uh, I personally don't use round trip tickets, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another space and then type the word single, single, S-I-N-G-L-E. By typing single, now if I hit enter, it actually purchases. Let me check my inventory. There I have a ticket now from departure location, Nim Stronghold, arrival planet Tatooine, arrival location, Mos Eisley Starport. Uh, and that's it. Now, when I arrive at Nim Stronghold, let's see how much longer I have to wait on this. 41 seconds, not bad. So now when I arrive there, I actually will not even have to go into the starport to purchase the ticket. Let's let's continue this. Let's say now I, well, I know after I get to Mos Eisley, I want to go to Feed. So if I type slash... P-U-R, you can actually hit tab to fill this in. Uh, P-U-R, it'll stop at purchase because there's multiple purchase commands. But if I then type T and hit tab again, it'll fill out the word purchase ticket. So I'm going to go from Tatooine, Moss, Isley, Starport. Let's say I want to go to Feed. So I'm going to do Naboo because that's where the planet we're going to. Feed. And then Theta is a little unique, and again, this is something you'll have to check the uh, the web page. I'll link in the description. But it's not Theed Starport for whatever reason. It's Theed Spaceport. It's very. I know it's kind of confusing which one's a starport, which one's a spaceport, because they're technically the same thing. But again, you just have to know what it's called uh, in the game code. And then again, I'm going to do single. All right. So there's that ticket, and then I want to do purchase ticket from Naboo, Theed Spaceport. Back to lock Nim's stronghold, single, and then purchase. Actually, we'll save that one. We'll save the last one. So from here, I should be able to board this. This will take me to Nim's stronghold. And then without even going inside and using that ticket terminal, I can talk to this droid. And this will take me to Moss Eisley. And the shuttle's not here. But, now, without even having to go into the starport, yeah, 28 seconds, so you would have had time to go in anyway, but I don't need to. I can just stand here now, and as soon as the shuttle lands, I can be off to my next destination without even having to go into the starport. And here it comes. the shuttle is about to begin boarding. There we go. And from here, without even going inside, we jump right to Theed. I'm going to burst run. This Theed spaceport is rather large. And for those of you that don't know, you don't actually have to wait for the shuttle in Theed spaceport. Theed spaceport works 24-7. And that will take us back to lock. And notice I, bur I purchased all of those tickets. We just made, what is it, four jumps? One, uh, University Campus to Stronghold. One, Stronghold to Tatooine. Two, Tatooine to Naboo. Three, and Naboo back to lock. Four. And now, I could just come over here. Let's say I want to go back to University Campus. Of course, I could just click it and click Purchase Ticket. But that wouldn't be any fun. Uh, let's go outside. And the interesting thing about these particular designs of uh, spaceports is even though I'm outside, I'm still within range of the ticket terminal right now because it's right on the other side of this wall. So I can actually type purchase ticket lock NIMS stronghold space. And like I said, shuttle ports do work. You just have to know exactly what they're called. So for player cities, it's just the name of the city, uh, the cap capitalization, just like the city is named, and underscores wherever there's a space. So for university campus, it would be university underscore campus space, and I'm going to do a single. Oop, too far. What about here? There we go. 
And away we go. Back to university campus. Alright. So, you can actually set up macros. So, if there is a common route that you take, like if from usually for us since uh, we're on university campus I can actually write a macro that would do both the purchase ticket from university campus to NIM stronghold and NIM stronghold to Moss Eisley or to feed and then whenever I want to use that I could just come over here type in you know macro ticket or whatever you decide to call the macro and that one macro command would purchase all of the tickets in that flight route that I had already set up in the macro so there are a lot of interesting things you can do this. It's all the whole point of this is to save some time. So I'm ho I hope this video uh, will help you guys save some time in the future and help you travel a lot quicker. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I look forward to a lot more specific uh, profession guides and uh, collaborative guides after New Year's. I'm going to be doing some videos with uh, fellow SWG University members. So keep your eyes open for those, and I'll also be continuing my other game series after New Year's. Alright, uh, again, thanks for watching. Mobius1 here. I'll see you next time.